There are so many monsters. So these are the punks that jumped to me. I kind of thought they'd be more ripped. Oh well, they'll go down easy enough. Mr. Zeme, can you really defeat them? I think I already know the answer to that one, baby bug. Nasty, Gearsty, let's go. I won't lose this battle. What it's a fucking I unicorn. Do? It is a fucking unicorn. No, it's the newest Pokemon. <laughs> Unicorns jealous. Pokemon Digimon, whatever you want to call it. What it is! And it is strong! Really, really, really strong! Um I might be in trouble here. I'll end this all. Really, really, really strong. I get it! I thought it was pretty hard to attack, but this bastard's got a physical barrier. Those wings are looking pretty suspicious if you ask me. If I were to position myself in front and punch it, I might break it. Okay, let's just not heal at all, right? Now you need to punch him. Is that gonna work? Alright, you punch him in the face, see what happens. Nap, if you would be so kind as to move! <laughs> yep. Alright, we'll do this one. Break the wagon! I've been waiting! It's not working! I'm gonna try to side that. Okay, hitting it from the side's working. Maybe if I hit it from behind. Bad. Maybe I should heal first. And think about stuff later. So that's the starting position, so I can only attack. And it. It I'll end this all. Maybe if I punch it. If I punch it. Yeah, punch up! Alright, let's try it from behind. Yeah, leave from behind. Okay, this is bad. There you go, Jackass. Keep your attention over here. All right, the enemy's barrier disappeared. Now's the time to strike back, everyone. I messed up real bad. Yeah, uh, right after we heal. Heal. Heal up. I've been waiting. Didn't heal too much, but you healed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's gonna die. Goodbye. GG, jackass. That should be the last of them. I think you're right. Since there aren't any more monsters around, we should be able to look for Umio freely now. That was cool. They had the shield. Hey, what's up with this Umio guy anyway? He's always calling Uzume with that mega classy voice of his. <laughs> He's probably so handsome. Umio, are you okay? Yes, I I'm alright. I apologize. I've caused you such unnecessary trouble. Oh, cut it out, Umio. I'm just glad you're here. I have some friends that want to meet you. Friends that wish to meet me? Nepsy, Gearsy, come over here. I have someone I want to introduce you to. Well, come on already. This is Umio. It's a fucking fish. <laughs> what? Man? With a seriously stoic face? The, the gap between his smooth voice and wild appearance is astounding. Ah, so you are the people Uzume wished to introduce to me. First, allow me to thank you for coming here to rescue me. I am eternally grateful. It's a fucking fish. Despite his fishy appearance, his voice is godly, and his lines are so refined and smooth. Still a fish, though. It totally ruins it. Isn't he adorable? What? Uh, adorable? Yeah, don't you think he could be like a super adorable leisurely mascot character? If he was made into a cell phone strap, Uzume totally thinks it would get popular. Neptune, do you think he's adorable? N no, not in the slightest. No, 
absolutely not at fucking tall. She's genuinely what they're trying to make the mascot character, I believe, or at least the mascot character for this game. And no, it's just no. Isti would make a better mascot character. Uzume, you're doing it again. Oh. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what's up. That being said, it is a first for me to see humans other than Uzume. I had come to believe they were all wiped out. A first? Wiped out? Hmm. It looks as if these two young ladies have yet to comprehend the gravity of our situation. Before it returns, let us move to a safer area. We can converse there. Before it returns? What does that mean? Ah, oh god, it's coming back, isn't it? It would appear we were not quick enough in our exit. It must have caught wind of us and returned. Alright, this pansy. Alright, I got this. This guy is... It's the one we failed to finish off! Why is it here? I can only guess, but perhaps it ran away from us and ended up here in this city. Damn it! I'm so sorry, Umio. It was because of my negligence that this all happened. There is no time for that now. The opponent is wounded. Uzume, can you finish this? Of course! And I'm gonna end our fated relationship here and now! That's fine. Just watch me, Umio! This time I'm gonna defeat that doggy! Ugh, so tired! I cannot take you seriously with that voice actor. Just can't. That voice actor should have been the one to go to PC. Just be our shit. <laughs> Just be our shit. Items! Okay, but there must be one for healing nearby, right? Yep, and that's the one we're gonna be using. Go! Oh, thank god. Alright, let's kick his ass. Come on, you jackass! Spiral dream! Time to die! Don't jump at me! To the chest! Ouch! Leave this to fucking me. lasers on me! Just use- right, it literally just used a fucking laser. Okay, right, let's kick it out. do it! What should I do? What? You use a fucking laser on me. Dream roar. I don't know what this does, so let's see. Here I go! Hit yeah! What? Out! Leave it to me! I got this! One strike! One strike! I'm sorry! I am the CPU candidate of Planetune after all! GG, jackass! GG, you creepy looking dog. It was a super easy victory thanks to you two being here. <laughs> really can't take it seriously without voice actors. Just can't. Just can't. It's wrong. That giant and I can finally duke it out without being bothered by that stupid mutt. Thank you so much, Miss Uzumi. We didn't know what we'd do when it appeared. How can we ever thank you all? Hey, it's no big deal. You guys found a share crystal for me after all. Yeah, find 17 more of them. I need one for like every fight ever, so come on. Uzume, here. This is what the baby bugs discovered. Thanks, everyone. Let us return for now. I'm sure you are all tired. Hmm. That's retarded. So we're going back to the hideout. I, I'm okay. I can keep going. Not just yet, you know. You never know, I might get jumped on the way back to the hideout. So we'd best be at our full HP. That being said, Uzume. Uzume is a. I lost track of what it's called already. 
This fucker. Who me up? One ugly motherfucker. I have no idea how anyone in the right mind could think he was cute. But, yeah, different folks for different folks. Some people are just weird. <laughs> so you just gotta roll with the punches. Pretend that it never happened ever, 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 ever. Anyway, so. I choose you! Let's go, hub! Let's celebrate Umio's rescue! Everyone, cheers! Cheers! Cheers? Is what I wish to say, but why is this a roasting fish party? Well, this is the only food I had on hand. Man, I'm glad I fished up so many for the reserve supply. I understand what you're saying, and I also understand that fish is the most abundant nutritional source in the area. But for me, this is basically cannibalism. And this is freshwater to fish at that. Oh yeah, but right, uh, uh, man, I'm sorry, Yumio. Don't afraid, Yumio. This will be here, yeah. I'll get you some krill in a little bit. Krill, hmm. Well, perhaps I will put it. I'm sorry too, Mio. We wanted to celebrate your return, but we didn't really know how to prepare an acid very elaborate. I can make simple sweets, but when it comes to meals, uh, it's not really in my strong suit. It's nothing. You need not apologize for, Gearsley. The gesture is more than enough for me, thank you. By the way, do you two, what do you two usually eat? I can't imagine there are many other food things available aside from canned foods. When necessary, we do utilize our canned goods, but normally Uzume prefers meals with anything you can find out there. Granted, there are simple dishes, of course, and we generally season and heat the gathered ingredients to create our meals. Oh, so you guys have your own survival reality show or something. So, have you ever eaten locusts, or snakes, or frogs before? Ah! My gosh, like seriously? No... No friggin' way, Nancy! Ew, slimy little frog legs, totally gross! Uh... Use me, language? <coughs> yeah, no way in hell I'd eat one of those ugly bastards! Aw, oh, I did a bit... wait, did he just say language so she would curse? Okay. Aw, oh, it'd have been really cool if you were able to chow down on some exotic grub like that. Oh well. Cool? Do you mean I could be cool? Huh? You seem kinda cute getting excited about being cool. Hmm, uh, duh. I see, so people think you're cool if you can eat frog. Maybe I'll try that. Wait, 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 wait. don't get tricked, Yuzumi. Damn dude, you gotta stop saying weird things like that to people. It's not very nice. Sorry, Napkin, I couldn't help it. Who's me before I forget? The baby bugs gave these to me as a gift for helping them. Would you like to take some? Ah! Those are shiitake mushrooms! They're delicious if you roast them on a skewer and the sight of your. Uh, and the sight of your avarish. Yep. Can't pronounce that one. Avari cautiously. Devouring them would be quite delightful. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 freaking way. I don't care what anyone says. I'm never eating those things. Dear me, your disdain for shiitake mushrooms is incredibly worrisome. You don't eat shiitake, Yuzumi? I can't! Can't stand the taste of the texture! It's truly a shame. They are very convenient. Shiitake mushrooms are exquisite. Roasted or boiled, and they perform wonderfully in soup, soup stocks. Soup stock? I wouldn't touch one with a 10 foot pole if it was made out of. Wait, wait. Ten, I wouldn't even touch one of them if it was with a 10 foot pole if it was made out of their share crystals. I'm not eating them! Uh. Well, anyway, now that we're nourished, I suppose it's time to explain what has actually transpired here in this nation. Additionally, I extend my deepest gratitude to you both for saving me. Now, could you tell me just how you both happened to come to this city? Kinda fell from the sky. So yeah, we're in a bit of a bind. I see, I'm beginning to make sense of your unique predicament. So you come here from another continent, or perhaps have bullowed your way out of an underground nation, or you're delusional. I can construct several different theories, but I believe the most pro probable is that you both come from another dimension. Ah, oh, damn it! I hate to say it, but yeah, I mean, I guess we could have managed to venture to another dimension yet again. Yet again? I assume that you have both done this before. You're to an alternate dimension, I mean. Yep, get out in the money. My fishy friend. 
Man, I knew I threw a lot of trouble to get back home last time, too. I hate to mention topics. Time gets all wacky. We were gone for years, but back home it had only been a few days. That's ridiculous. Oh, I believe I understand now. So, how do we get home, Big Sis? If we really are in another dimension, we probably can't even contact East War. Shut up, Dep Junior. At least we know where we are now. That's pretty good. If we know where we are, then all we gotta do is find a weather path from home to home. Here to home is. But how do we figure out what a path like that even looks like? Hey, Mio, are monsters really the only ones here? Maybe there are other people that have just gone into hiding somewhere very far away. Now that I think about it, did none of the CPUs from the other nations survive? Where are they? I apologize, but as far as I know, the only CPU that exists is Uzume. There used to be people here though, right? There's, there's no trace of them left on the internet. Indeed, they existed a long time ago. Without knowledge of their existence, I would not have thought of you as human. However, when I was born, this world was already in a state of desolation and ruin. That's why I was quite surprised to meet you both. So, does no one actually know why the world ended up in this condition? Uzume states that the giant, as she calls it, is the direct reason, but I believe an even greater cause exists. Hmm, would you take a look at this? It's some data I found, although it's a little broken. Hmm. This appears to be a journal. The text is buggy here and there, but this is quote, truly is quite fascinating. Hey, anyway, I'd like to investigate more about what's happened to this world. My ability might not be great, but it allowed me to help. We may uncover information vital to the safety and preservation of this world. Thank you very much! Incidentally, Uzumi has been rather quiet for quite some time now. She appears to be in a deep sleep. This is unsurprising considering her she was already exhausted before devouring that large meal. Oh, I'm sorry for you for keeping you both up just to talk. I'm sure you're both very tired as well. There's are still trouble to tell. Actually, Umio, there's something I wanted to ask you about Uzume. So I noticed Azumi's personality and speech are kind of change randomly once in a while. What the hell is up with that? She is, uh, pushing herself. Pushing herself? Originally, she was a girl with a cheerful disposition. Much like when she transforms. What? Really? Even if she had to tear free, she was very earnest. She may have believed that as she was. She may have believed that as she was. We could not rely on her in this crumbling world. As she continued... A life of survival and combat, her personality and speech slowly changed. To believe Uzume was like that in the past. That's why she's so hung up on the idea of being cool, huh? There must be some part of her subconscious that relates to being cool and to being reliable. But one's personality is not something so easily changed. As Uzume has always been prone to daydreams, she often returns to her true self during those times. Oh yeah, I've definitely noticed that. Now then, it's quite late. We can't speak of our... We can speak of our... What our next steps will be in the morning. I'm sure you both are tired, so please get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I'm exhausted fighting today. Good night, Yumeo. Thanks for speaking with us. Night. See you in the morning. Yes, good night. Pleasant dreams to you both. Suddenly starting again, today is Snap Station! With me, your host Snapshot, today I'm joined by Me, Izuni Tunaboshi, with an awesome broadcast just for you! Man, I'm glad we were able to save Umio safely. Yeah, I was able to defeat that mutt too. It must be because I'm so cool. Well, let's forget about whether or not Izumi is cool for now. What? Since we're here, let's try acting out an episode preview thingy. Take it away, Izumi! Uh, after saving Uz Umio, what awaited Nepium Core was another type of hell. Greed and violence settled in after destruction. A city of Platform Zero created after a hundred years of war. If you throw vice, treachery, corruption and chaos into a blender, you get zero dimension. Next episode, Swirl, will have you follow Nepsty and us into hell. That wasn't really an episode pre preview in the slightest, but oh well, bye bye. Nep Junior, I want to eat pudding. Goodness, what should I do? There isn't any pudding around, and I even, and even if I wanted to make some, we don't have the ingredients. Pudding. 
What's going on? I can hear gas from outside. Greetings, Nipsey. As lively as usual, I see. Oh, here's my email. We have a bit of a problem. Pudding! If I don't have any pudding, I'll die! Pudding! And there's a problem. Ah, I understand. Unfortunately, unless we somehow make it ourselves, we won't find any. No, 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 pudding! Dear me, I'm finding it difficult to tell which one is the, actually the older system. It may be Nepsy, Nepsy's influence, but now I want to try eating some pudding. Right? You want to eat pudding too, right, Uzume? That bittersweet taste of caramel sauce poured over the nice portion of cold, refreshing custard pudding. Damn it, I want pudding now. <laughs> Even one day without it causes this nephew to feel all sentimental. Custard pudding, huh? But green tea and pudding and chocolate pudding are great too. Maybe we can go find some ingredients in some abandoned grocery stores nearby. If they had the base for pudding, we'd even be more super ultra lucky, right? If we found some Izumi with would Toad want to make yummy sweets and treat all our beautiful friends? Oh, it's been quite a while since I've made some. Oh, how about we make a whole bunch of different kinds of pudding and have a big pudding pot together? What the fuck is a pudding pot? Oh, when I say pudding pot, it's a short name for pudding party. Doesn't it sound like ultra mega fun? So, yeah! A pudding party we might be kinda tight, so maybe we could try it out or whatever. But the problem is the ingredients. You need eggs and milk, right? What's the world in this state? I don't think we're gonna find it either. Wait, we might actually have some eggs! Stare! Are you staring in my direction? Hey, Nasty! I think you could make pudding out of fish eggs too. Fish eggs! Fresh pudding! Wow, this might be a whole new breed of pudding on our plates here. This needs to happen. For science! No. Just a moment, you two. I want you to calm down first. No matter how you look, I'm a male fish. Even if you want to count my stomach open, you wouldn't find what you're looking for. <laughs> Damn. Here, yeah, until today I never before thanked my parents for bringing me into the world as a male. You have your share of troubles too, don't you, Emil? Alright then, Nepsey, it's still possible. There are some ingredients left somewhere, so let's go search for them. You're right! Oh, even if we only find enough ingredients for one spoonful, it's worth it. And they're gone. But they are. Are we seriously going hunting for pudding? I think that is a yes. Then go ahead and rely on me. We're going hunting for pudding. Cause I don't know why. <laughs> Cause it's napping, you know what she's like. So. Pudding, pudding. See what I mean? <laughs> I'd like to eat something good. Then it's thanks for taking care of us. We'll cook up something for you, Zumi. Oh, really? Sweet. Should we get anything in particular? I definitely gotta get some protein before I fight the giant, so I'll have some meat, please. Nebgar and I will whip up the best meat dishes we can think of. Sorry for the wait, Izumi. But here, this is a Salisbury steak. Aw oh, man, so this is a Salisbury steak. I've heard about how delicious they were, but this is my first time eating one. This is great! It's super delicious! I'm glad you like it. Next is my dish. It's a special nep nep style katsu bowl. Holy cow, this is a katsu bowl of my friggin' dreams! Mm. Wow, this is such a great blend of egg and katsu flavors. I didn't know you were such a genius in the kitchen, Nepsy. Ah, uh, you're making me blush. It was worth having Nepgar teach me how to make it, even though there was quite a bit of trial and error. I guess I could taste how its seasoning could be could use some minor tweaks, but it's still delicious. I feel like if I ate this tomorrow, I'll have to start to take on that giant. Nice thing, please recreate this dish for me tomorrow. Um, about that. Huh? What's wrong? Uh, 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 the fact of the matter is, uh, actually we used up our supplies to make these, and Mr. Nels ended up his black suit. <laughs> uh, uh. Miraculously, these two came out edible. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh oops. Hey, Junior, I found some bags! Huh? 
I've got milk and sugar too. I think we're all set for now. What? You're too easy me. I think we're actually some monster peddlers nearby who just opened up a shop. Not only that, but everything here is 100% organic and fresh. This is just a little too convenient. Well, as long as we have food we can eat. I think anything's better at this point. Let's start whipping up this spoon right away, Gearsy. Yeah. I'll just hang out with you while they work their magic, Umeo. Considering we've never had a chance to sit and have a chat together, this would be the perfect opportunity to deepen our friendship. Hmm? Where's that coming from? Ah, sincerest uh, apologies, Nefty. It appears to be a call from one of my friends. Please excuse me for a moment. There he goes. Ah, yeah, I got nothing to do while I wait for pudding. Ah well, you see hunger is the best ingredient. I think I'll take a walk to get my blood flowing. Maybe it looks like he grew legs as he matured and eventually become a frog, but how is he in reality? I don't know what you're on, but that can't possibly be true. He's a damn fish. <laughs> you're right, that'd be ridiculous. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Hey, Mio, what's with that body? What are those creepy legs? You're being quite rude, Nefty. Look how beautiful these legs are. It's got fucking legs! <laughs> la 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 Legs. His legs. Please, anything but those legs. Looks like they're having the same dream, but what did you mean by his legs? Okay, no, that was all sorts of creepy. <laughs> Neptune, pudding's done! Sorry about that, Nasty. We made you wait too much. It took quite a while. Bob, why are there baby bucks? Oh, good job, you two. Thank you for your hard work. Oh, it's Mr. Zumi. What's going on here? I had some time to kill before you guys were done, so I took a walk around and ran to these baby bugs. I thought eating delicious sweets together with everyone makes them even more scrumptious, so I invite them over. Nice idea, Nasty. We used all the ingredients we bought, and we made way too much. Now I'm really hungry too. I can't wait for the pudding! Now we're gonna eat you first, fried shrimp. Anyway, I will boil, I'll boil us some tea then. Let's run. Maybe decrepit, but let's have ourselves a tea party. Oh, I'm so stuffed, I just can't get started. I just can't get started up unless I have a pudding a day. <laughs> you really do love your pudding, don't you? The tea you made for us was really delicious, Umeo. What kind of tea is this? Thank you, it's my original blend. I'm a bit of a hobbyist when it comes to tea, and I can give you some of this blend if you like. Really? Thanks! Next aside, you really are a gentleman, Umeo. I think he's pretty handsome on the outside too, you know. That's right. Who's me had that sort of style sense, huh? Now that our tea party is winding down, I would like to have a meeting discussing our future strategies. If you're all willing. I don't mind. I'm super down. My motivation gauge is at max now that my belly's full of pudding. Well, let's jump in immediately. I just hit a call and inform me of a place where share crystals may be located. We've used up a lot from the previous fight, so it'd be good for me to restart my supply. Furthermore, we can sum we can summarize that there is a large supply of share crystals at this location. We might even be able to execute our plan. Indeed, as long as we have the necessary share crystals, our preparations will be complete. Which means we can finally Hey, okay, so what's this plan you guys are talking about? It'd be nice if you let me and Nev get into this stuff so we can understand. Alright, my bad. To explain it simply, it's the plan to defeat that colossus you've already seen. Here's a whack! You've already thought of a way to defeat that giant thing! After defeating battles with it, I came to realize that it's weak to shared energy. However, because of its size, even if you strike it with shared energy on a single on a single point, it has little effect. This is why we're gonna attempt to contain it by creating a special barrier that uses huge amounts of shared crystal. Holy moly, that's a pretty crazy plan! I thought even a giant would get clobbered. Yep, that's the idea anyway. Ooh. Let's hurry and get those crystals. Uh, 
Okay. So we just gotta walk all this way to the next dungeon. Okay. Koitsu. Argo Dis! Hmm. What a lively party. That ugly ass monster from episode 1 is the Argo Dis. I guess. Pretty sure it is. And that's where it spawns about. I choose you! So let's go kick his ass. After we kick these guys ass, because they jump me. Fired up. You picked a fight, you're gonna die now. You picked a fight, man. You're on damn fucking fault. You don't want to die, don't pick a fight. It's as simple as that. I'm a force of fury. My turn. Time to die. Don't mess with me. GG. You're in the way. Yeah. What should I yeah, do? Yeah, you're dead. I'll be serious. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Yeah. Ah. Yay, we won. See ya. Right, can I continue on my path now? I've just noticed, if you look at the sides of the screen, look. This thing's going up and down. That's uh, really cool. Can't we just hang out here? No. <laughs> got things to fight and places to go. Things to fight and places to go. It's just the one idiot jump this time. Easy. Oh no, we got a friend. My turn. Back to be you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, dumb shit. See ya. I'm sorry. We won. See ya. Alright, now to the actual dungeon. Uh, can't we just hang out here? Enter. Oh. Oh, bah -bah. Huh? So there are share crosses here hiding even in a place like this? Wow, I can't believe such a beautiful place still exists in this world. You must realize that this place is way this way because this is where the sh where share crystals reside. Why is that? The lands of this nation and of this world are almost completely lifeless. I personally believe that the dead, I, dead land directly correlates to the fact that the amount of the CPU's protecting power is greatly diminished. The sole reason game industry exists is due to the protective powers of the CPUs. That sounds like my nation too, planet it! Can't do anything without me around! However, according to the ancient text, it is said that the source of the CPU's power is, in actuality, the faith of the people. If this world bears no human population, CPUs can no longer manifest their true powers. My theory is that these share crystals scattered around the lands are the crystallizations of the fate of all those who used to exist here. I suppose the CPUs and the people create nations by developing a relationship that is mutually supportive. It was the same in game industry of a, uh, in the game industry of another dimension we explored before. Hmm, that means no matter the dimension we're in, game industry will usually operate in the same way. Well, that makes my job of explaining it much easier. My recent investigations have found that this is the only nation which still exists. There is literally nothing beyond the mountains and oceans. So it was true after all. No effing way! So that means we're seriously in an end of the world situation? End of the world is quaint. In comparison, let us return to the previous topic. So although Izumi is a CPU, this nation is still slowly perishing. Any ideas as to why that is? No. Considering Izumi remains depending on a steady supply of share crystals, I believe this world is, has not accepted her as its CPU. What? Uh. In a world without CPUs, this place may no longer even be game industry. What do you think will happen to this world if its very last nation falls into ruins? It would disappear, wouldn't it? If we venture to give a name to this shell of a game industry, you could perhaps call it the Zero Dimension. I'm not giving up! Even this world doesn't accept me, everyone else here looks up to me as a CPU, and I'm sticking out to the end! Back to the topic at hand. The beauty and abundance in this place is due to the Shear Crystal's energy feeding this entire forest. This happens every time. The natural abundance in this area is proof of the immense power held within these Shear Crystals. And like, this is a huge forest, right? That means there is, there has to be a big enough share crust of power at work here, right? But if we take all the share crusts we find here, won't this forest wither and die? Correct. It is like these are quite precious, however, so we must not, so we can try not to move all of the crystals. Yeah, that's good. That means we can come back on a field trip and look at the pretty flowers. Neptune, we may was discussing a fairly grave topic with us, and that's what you decided to contribute to this conversation. 
Back, Junior. Don't you get it? Everyone needs a little normalcy in crazy times like these. Those everyday pleasures are so important. Wow, normalcy. You're so right. As we finish off this, coming here and just setting, just staring at the flowers would be so beautiful. We could throw a huge party and invite the baby bugs and everyone else. That does sound really nice. I could even make a whole bunch of pudding like I did the other day. I'll help out too. I want to try making different flavors. How long has it been since I've had such a happy expression on since I've seen such a happy expression on Uzumu? If it were possible, I'd wish for her to always have a smile, such a smile on her face. Oh, oh, oh.